Hello everyone, good day. This is Uza Chidu, founder of Lady Rose's Initiatory. Um, this is the last uh, recording or voice notes of the podcast series and I'll be talking about my faith manifestation through challenges and it's not really going to be like the regular testimonies you hear of. This is pretty much uh, going to be a summary of what is still ongoing in my heart, in my mind, and you know, with the works of my hands. Um, I'll start with the definition of faith, as it is in the Bible, because I'm a Christian, and I believe in God so much. And I have a personal active relationship with him and you know this for this reason I have every single thing about my life revolving around him <laughs> yes because taking away Jesus Christ from my existence we really put me in a place of chaos and in him there's understanding, there's wisdom, there's knowledge, there's comprehension, and there is hope for a great future. So Hebrews 11 1 says, faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. And this definition is pretty much explanatory, it's straight to the point. And relating this definition now to my life, it's the reason why I did the other podcast series talking about the future of Lady Rose's initiatory, the mission statement, the vision statement, even as <laughs> I have been rejected, you know, so many times from all the entrepreneurship competitions, boot camp applications, impact accelerator programs, and as heartbreaking as it is, I'm still pushing, you know, and I am looking forward to investment and I'm actively working on that. So I'm not giving up. I have hope in the future of my company this dream was given to me and it was given to me because God saw potential and the dream will come to life the company will come to life no matter what happens I just have to keep pushing keep praying making the right connections and not giving up, right? No matter the rejections that I get or no matter how many times I cry over things not going the way I plan, no matter how exhausted I feel. So, um, Genesis of the Rose's initiatory, you know, with the two prototypes, the first one with headsets, having customers control their electrical appliances with it, with the solar home system, and then the second prototype, being able to use your smartwatch to, you know, until so you get to create magic in your home using brain waves from your from your head and you also get to create magic with your smartwatch yeah use your smartwatch to control your television your ac your air conditioner your washing machine your fan You know, whatever appliances, your fridge, your freezer, you know, whatever appliances in the house, all you need to do is just, you know, tap the Lady Rose's Initiatory's application on your smartwatch and, you know, put it off or put it on. Just like that, you know, beautiful. I came up with all of this without actually even 
knowing fully well completely how all will come to pass but it will and me talking extensively about the mission statement the vision statement the objectives of my company i'm putting out to the public it's out there in faith and because the words are out there it's definitely going to come to pass um so that's my faith in action before lady rose's initiatory came up with this prototypes um there was an initial version that was really not feasible and coming to the realization of that was feedback from an entrepreneurship competition i applied for so the unique thing about them is they give feedback and this organization i'm talking about they are known as mass challenge and so in 2021 i applied for mass challenge israel and i didn't get in much later in that year i think in june i'd be me one of these months though i also registered for usa and it, I didn't, but was not selected either. Mass Challenge USA 2021. And then in 2022, I applied for Mass Challenge Israel again with my new solution now. And I was still rejected. They gave me reasons why I was rejected. And I just smiled. And, uh, it was much later on that I made a decision to accumulate emails. Yeah. Accumulate emails of a lot of venture capital companies that I have been seeing online from different news reports from TechCrunch and Tech Cabal and Google. You know, I, I was very intentional and even YouTube videos from tech yeah from tech cabal a tech point um on fundings on different companies and i'm just telling myself the founders of these companies don't have two heads right they had a dream they wrote it down obviously and they started you know implementing and during implementation they reached out to the right people they expanded their networks and now they're living their dreams what they wrote on paper is manifesting right before their eyes and when i talk about you know what they wrote on paper i'm talking about the business plan the business model you know their powerpoint presentations their financial statements extensively talking about how they will generate revenue and the markets they are going to move into whether it's the african market or the international markets and i'm telling myself this is doable for you girl so at this point in time i am very hopeful that when i send emails to the companies and the individuals i really put up a post on instagram you know the first quarter report and this move of mine is a higher level of fate walk for me i don't think it's ever been done because as i'm speaking now i have over over a thousand email addresses <laughs> that's really crazy because the microsoft word documents where i'm compiling it's well over 45 pages now and i'm like wow girl you better get you know positive feedback from the people that you were doing this with and um, I'll just I'll just have to say that it's really tasking right building anything is really tasking I'm sure entrepreneurs who have made in life who have businesses will attest to this and I'm really just at <laughs> the beginning stage <laughs> I'm taking my baby steps and I acknowledge how far I've come 
and I'm grateful for the journey, but I know I have to do what I have to do. And um, I'm very positive that I would find my tribe of investors, of people in higher places who would see this vision and support me in the way that they can in making Lydia Rose's initiatory a unicorn in the global space now, not limiting to Nigeria or old African countries because that is the goal, that is the dream. It is very, very, very extensive. And yeah, now you know that sometimes you don't have everything figured out when you have a dream. You just have to start taking steps like I'm doing. And I really hope that I am a source of inspiration and motivation to so many other people who are battling with rejection in whatever areas of their life. You just have to believe in you and you just have to keep pushing. And every single thing will align. And when it does, you'll be happy and you'll be filled with joy. And it would almost be as if your, <laughs> your, you know, your suffering never happened. But it would have built you so much that you have a thick skin and you are a source of inspiration too. And then you also get to mentor your younger ones or people in your age grade or even those above your age grade who want to learn from you, who are really amazed with the steps that you've taken. And it's very important to maintain the vision and the goal in your mind's eye. I would have to talk about my faith game. Now, because this is the last podcast, I have to be your sincere as possible and I'll make sure this does not exceed five minutes so I'm going to round up here with this last um with this last uh practice of mine. So I have affirmations and declarations. So it is writings of what I want for myself and my future, my life. I write it down and I always say I declare to myself and I speak to my future. So before I start saying the many things written down, you know, I mean, there's just a little catchphrase. I mean, it's more or less like a preamble before I start. And, you know, I say, I declare in faith to my future. I speak to my mind, I speak to my body, I speak to my soul, I speak to my spirit, I speak to my heart and my mind. And then when I'm done saying all the declarations, and then at the end I said, or I always say rather, um, all my dreams and goals are made manifest in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. So that is exactly what I regularly say. And it is beautiful. And I literally do not take it for granted although even with this energy I still have moments of being downcast and I go for days without seeing them but I pray in my heart right <sighs> consistency is key I'm not gonna lie but hey this is this is it for my faith manifestation I'm a work in progress yeah, and I know that in the nearest future, I will be teaching a whole lot of people the principles of my success and how important it is to fight for your dreams. Extremely important, no matter what anyone else says, and how important it is to find the right team members. I have an exceptional team from my co-founder to the chief technical officer to the company legal officer to my financial analyst who literally takes, you know, so many drastic steps of faith with me and also my creative director. I'm blessed. So thank you.